Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to set the margin for this drawing sheet. So I have completed one drawing of this A3 sheet to which we have dimensions 420 by 297. So whenever we are going to uh, create one PDF for this drawing, we are going to go with this menu bar. There you will find one export option. In that we are going to prefer this PDF creation. This kind of window will get pop up over the screen. Over here, you will find option like window. So just select that and click over this option. And we are going to select a window that we are going to print over this A3 drawing sheet. Now once we select that window, here we have another option for the page setup. So initially by default, we have current as a page setup. Just click over the drop down menu, there you will find override option so that this page setup override option will get enabled. Click on that and here you have to select a paper size ISO A3 to which we have dimensions 420 by 297 mm. Again with this drawing orientation we are going for this landscape. Click over this plot scale fit to the paper and click over this OK button and we are going to save this file as per the our requirement so here i am going to keep this name as it is by default drawing number one so just click over this already i have saved that so just replace it by clicking over this s button you will find a pdf it will take some time to open that pdf now you can see over the window we have these margins at the top end as well as to the left hand side but the margin at the bottom end to the right hand side is unable over this created video. Now to have that margin while going for the printouts you have to go with the plot option so either you can type plot, uh, plot over this command from just type plot option or the same option you will get over here so there you can click once another window will get pop up over the screen like this so if you just look out over this window we have the option printer slash plotter and there you have to define the name so by default it is none so just click over this drop down menu and just scroll it down there you will find one option drawing to pdf so just select that option now you can see this property tab will get enabled again if you just look out over here this is nothing but the paper size so we have to select the paper size that we have taken while completing the drawing initially so we are going to select this iso a3 to which we have dimensions 420 by 297 so just select that again you will find another option over there as a plot area there you have to go with the window because we are going to select a window for the constructed view again just take this center to the plot option again you have to select this plot scale as a fit to paper so just check it out this checkbox over there and to have another setup while creating that PDF along with that margin line, initially you will find a window somewhat like this. Okay, so to open all the options, you have to click over here for the more options. There you will find one option plot style table. So just click over the drop down menu. There you have to select this acad.ctb. So just select that. It will ask one message over the screen assign this plot style table to all the layouts. So you have to click over this S option. Below that you will find shaded viewport options. So just click over the drop down menu. Go with the as display. You can select the quality of print as per the your requirement. So I am going to keep it as a normal. Below that you will find plot options. So I am going to select only the plot options as an object line weight. Along with that I am going to select a plot with plot style and many times we need to print out the timestamp over this 
created PDF. So to have that timestamp, you have to just check out this plot stamp option on there. You will find one stamp icon. So just click on it. Another window will get pop up over the screen and you will find these are the options over there. So then we have the option like drawing name, device name, layout name, paper size that we have chosen, date and time, plot scale as well as login name. Okay. So I'm going to keep only date and time and all the remaining options I'm going to remove. So just confirm that we have selected date and time and click for this OK option. Now once we're done with this plot stamp option, at the bottom you will find one option drawing orientation. So this is very important one as we are going to print out all the constructed views over the A3 drawing sheet over the landscape. So just select this landscape option over there and at the bottom you will find another option plot upside down. So to understand this option you can observe this letter A. If I just tick this checkbox you can see it will reverse the letter A in that particular sheet. Now whatever the options we have selected to have a proper layout for the drawing sheet once we're done with this, you have to click over the apply to layout. And here we have one preview option. So if I just click over this preview tab, you can see we are able to print all the border lines of this created PDF. Along with that, we have this time and date stamp over there. Now just click over this close preview window option. Okay. So by this way, we can have all the border lines over there. Now, once we go with this preview option, you can easily go for the printouts. Okay. And this PDF we can refer for our submission. So this is all about to have a margin over the created PDF. Along with that, we can confirm this all setup and we can save this created PDF to the required location. I am going to save it over the desktop by the name drawing model dot PDF. So save this. So it will save that PDF and it will give us one preview like this. So this is all about setting the page layout and to have all the border lines in a proper way along with this date and timestamp. Thank you. Once we're done with this initial setting, you have to click over this property tab that we have in a printer slash plotter option. Click over this. There you will find one option device and document setting. In that, you have to select this modify standard paper size. So just click on it. Below, you will find one preview tab for the modify standard paper size. There you have to select a paper size that we have selected over here. Okay, so if we just look out over this paper size, we have selected ISO A3 420 by 297 mm. So the same paper size we have to select over here to modify our layout. So just go on selecting that proper paper size. In a drop down menu, you will find that option. Here you will find ISO A3 option to which we have dimensions 420 by 297. You have to keep in mind that this paper size and this paper size should be the same. And once we select that proper paper size, just click over this modify tab. Another window will get pop up over the screen and you have to confirm that all the printable area we are going to select in a such a way that all dimensions are in equal value. So the top will be the 5mm, bottom 5mm, left 5mm, right 5mm. And once we confirm this, you will find one preview over here. And just click over this next option. Again, finish.
click over this copy tab again you can see the preview window okay now you can see that proper created profile over there 